Tucker Carlson has become the new target of the Biden administration and other NATO nations as they sink, seek to sanction him for daring to interview Russian's President Vladimir Putin. New York Mayor Eric Adams is now demanding that you and I give him $4.6 billion to take care of illegal immigrants from the Texas border. The Supreme Court will hear oral argument on whether to remove Donald Trump from the presidential election ballot in Colorado. This decision will literally reshape the United States of America, just as removing presidential immunity already will. Thank you so much for liking and sharing these videos. It really helps me out. So thank you so much. I also want to thank today's video sponsor, Mr. 1920 Soap, the very best soap on the planet. This is amazing. It smells amazing. And when other sponsors dropped me for telling you the truth, these guys stuck with me. So I will leave a link down below. If you use code AMAZING, you will get 15% off of your order. All right. I see you guys leaving comments. Hello. Welcome to tonight's broadcast. Let's jump in because there's some super serious stuff going on right now. Back in Israel, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has called Hamas delusional for thinking that he'd accept their terms for a ceasefire. To be honest, I think he's right. Let's discuss the terms. For instance, in phase one, Hamas wants a larger prisoner exchange to take place, including their men over the age of 19. And Israel must withdraw from Gaza over the course of the next 45 days. Only afterward, in phase two and three, would the other hostages be exchanged, which are terms very risky for Israel to agree to. Hamas is quite literally known for breaking their agreements. So if I had to guess, this could be a ploy to give Hamas time to rebuild or to not go through with uh, giving back the hostages. So basically they're saying, Israel, give us a bunch of our people that are men over the age of 19. And 45 days from now, we'll give you the women and children and men that we have as our hostages. I don't think that Israel is going to go for this. On top of this, IDF spokesman Daniel Hagari has just claimed that they have uncovered evidence that Iran has been directly funding Hamas. He stated, we found official Hamas documents from 2020 detailing the funds transferred by Iran between the years 2014 and 2020 to Hamas and to Sinwar. More than $150 million were transferred to Hamas from Iran. While we already knew that Iran was supporting Hamas, the amount of money is staggering, $150 million, so that they could openly attack Israel on October 7th. Now, get this. Mayor Eric Adams of New York City has just announced that it will cost New York City $4.6 billion to take care of illegal immigrants in their state. He then told other states that they need to give him money so that he can take care of the people. Um, no, you chose to be a sanctuary city. I didn't choose to be a sanctuary city. I'm not going to pay for your decision. Now, this came out one day after Mayor Adams announced that he was going to give illegal migrants $1,000 a month to shop in New York City. So basically, these people get $600 a night hotel, three meals, and more money than the average woman on Social Security who worked her entire life. And they're saying, Hey, we're, we're a sanctuary city taking on all of the people from the Texas border, but you owe us money. You, you watching, you owe me money. That's exactly what Mayor Adams is telling you. Now, let me know in the comments, are you from New York? Is this fair? And if you're not from New York, let me know, do you want your tax money going from your pocket to New York City so that people can have $1,000 a month $600 hotel stay, and three free meals? Let me know. I want to hear from you. I definitely want to hear from you. This is so insulting to our veterans and our senior citizens and those that work their whole life to receive their Social Security benefits. Now, tomorrow, 
the U.S. Supreme Court will hear oral argument from Colorado lawyers seeking to move Trump off of the ballot. They will then hear from the Secretary of State of Colorado. Lastly, the nine justices will hear from Trump's legal team. President Donald Trump has decided not to go to the case. He said he does not want to be a distraction to the justices or anyone being able to say that he was there to intimidate them. He said he trusts the justice system and that they will make the right decision, but he does not want to become a burden, a burden or be blamed for intimidating anybody. So he's going to stay home. Now, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. How do you think the nine justices are going to respond? Are they going to agree with Democrats and remove Donald Trump? Or are they going to say, no, the American people have the right to vote for whomever they want and, and stick up for the Constitution? Let me know your thoughts, please. I want to hear from you. Okay, now, this is absolute insanity. I cannot believe the White House and other NATO nations are doing this. Russia has confirmed that Tucker Carlson has in fact completed an interview with President Vladimir Putin. According to Russian spokesman Dmitry Peskov, the interview will be released, released as soon as it's ready. When asked why Russia allowed Tucker Carlson to interview Vladimir Putin, Peskov stated, he has a position that differs from the rest. At least it is contrastingly different from the position of traditional Anglo-Saxon media. Now, the question remains, is Putin trying to use this opportunity to his advantage? Maybe yes, maybe no. But as adults, don't you think that we have the <laughs> brains to be able to decide what we want based on hearing the truth? So you can decide after hearing this whether Tucker Carlson is a good man or a bad man. You can decide whether Vladimir Putin is a good guy or a bad guy. You can decide whatever you want. That's the beauty of being an American adult with your own brain. You can make your own decisions. I trust you. I just wish the American government would. Now, this is crazy. Uh, the, the government is saying that Tucker Carlson has done something very bad and that he should not be giving Vladimir Putin an amplified voice. But he tried to give Zelensky an amplified voice as well. Shortly after the news broke that Tucker Carlson was interviewing Vladimir Putin, lawmakers from the European Union threatened Carlson by sanctioning him, saying that never should he ever speak with Vladimir Putin. For instance, former Belgian Prime Minister Guy Verte Hostovk stated, Tucker Carlson is surely on the path to being labeled a propagandist for the Russian regime. If he enables disinformation for Putin, the EU should explore a travel ban. This is, this is sad. Tucker Carlson loves Europe. Tucker Carlson doesn't have anything against Ukraine, but he knows that the American mainstream media has lied for almost two years about this war and only in the last few months did they admit that Ukraine is actually losing the war and many of our taxpayer dollars never even made it to the front line. In fact, only a fraction of our weapons and our money actually went to the front line. Now, despite being labeled a pro-Russian, Tucker Carlson posted a video from Moscow defending himself. He stated, we are not here because we love Vladimir Putin. We are here because we love the United States and we want it to remain prosperous and free. Now, I understand that some people are gullible, but this is America, not China. Access to information from both sides is what makes America great. To be fair, Carlson did try to give uh, an interview with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, but they denied the opportunity. And so, so far he hasn't. But again, I believe that he is just looking for the truth. I don't believe that he is there because he loves Vladimir Putin. All right, now back in the United States of America, the House of Representatives has officially failed to impeach Secretary of uh, Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas. Earlier today, 
I interviewed Representative Troy Nels of Texas, and he's going. The, that video will come out later tonight. It is so powerful. He walks through all of the reasoning behind why these Republicans voted with Democrats, and they have another surprise up their sleeve, which he shared on my show, which will be coming out next week. So I'll make sure to publish that later tonight. Now, ultimately, it came down to a few key Republicans who sided with Democrats who argued a difference of policy isn't grounds for impeachment. I disagree with that. Uh, I don't believe that is the true reason. Now, in response, Georgia House Republican Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene stated, my Democrat colleagues argue that one cannot be impeached for policy differences. Well, I argue that breaking our law is more than just policy differences. We know for a fact Alejandro Mayorkas has broken the law many, many times. They do not have control of the border. If they did, there wouldn't be 8 to 10 million people inside the country uh, abusing the welfare programs and, and begging for uh, jobs and different things like that. So we know that this isn't just about policy difference. This is about an invasion on the Texas border and the Arizona border and the California border. Now, even though top Republicans have put forth solid argument for why Alejandro Mayorkas should be impeached, Democrat Representative Nancy Pelosi has continued to push a false narrative with the mainstream media. During an interview with MSNBC News, she stated, understand this, Everything they do is about Donald Trump. He is the puppeteer. Sadly, as I've always said, he's shining a light on the strings and it looks terrible. Everything about him. Now, in the end, the vote came down to a slim win, 2014 to 2016, in favor of keeping Mallorcas. In my video last night, I told you the names of the people, so you can go check that out. Now, let me know. I want to hear from you. Do you think that Nancy Pelosi is right? Do you think that Americans that are concerned about the southern border, our country being overwhelmed, our safety net programs being, being depleted, our veterans and seniors not getting care, that this is all because we're a bunch of brainless idiots that are puppets for Donald Trump. Oh, look at me. I'm a Donald Trump puppet. I can't do anything. I have no brains of my own. Give me a break, Nancy Pelosi. Why don't you go back to stealing money out of the stock market and get out of politics? Because most of us have brains. Most of us are incredibly educated people. Just make, it makes me absolutely crazy. Let, let me know down below. Actually, let, let's do a poll live right now. If you agree with Nancy Pelosi that we're all a bunch of brainless Donald Trump puppets, I want you to say, I agree. And if you disagree with Nancy Pelosi, I want you to write disagree. And I'm going to come back and read these. So I want to hear from you guys. Do you agree with Nancy Pelosi or do you disagree? I personally, I disagree with just about everything that comes out of her mouth. Oh, you guys are lighting it up. Disagree, 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 disagree. Hi, everybody. By the way, I'm not ignoring you on this live. I just have so much good information to share with you. So I'll come on afterwards and definitely speak with you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, what is that smell? It, it's this Mr. 1920 soap. Oh, my gosh. Wow. It's like coming right up into my nose. That's how good it smells. Okay. Now, because the impeachment plan has hit a dead end, Republicans are now centering their focus on the new border legislation supported by Joe Biden. Just to recap it, Republicans are, are, are blocking this. They're saying $118 billion, $14 billion to Israel, $60 billion to Ukraine, and basically a border bill that allows our country to continue to be invaded. They're saying, no way, we're not playing games with Chuck Schumer anymore. And so uh, these, these uh, Republicans in the Senate, they're standing up to the Democrats saying, not on our watch, okay? So now they are trying to blame Donald Trump. Of course they are. Of course they're blaming Donald Trump, right? Listen to this. President Joe Biden said that every American will know between now and voting in the November election that 
this border crisis is Donald Trump's fault. <laughs> you guys, I can't, I can't make this stuff up. They're, they're literally trying to spin that it's Donald Trump's fault that the United States of America is being invaded at the Texas border. I mean, <laughs> this, this is crazy. Hey, let, let me know in the comments. Is Joe Biden crazy or is it just me? Seriously, I want to hear from you. All right. Now, President Biden's strategy has remained the same for years. He just wants to buy votes. With it being abundantly clear that he's not popular, in fact, he's the most unpopular president since World War II, Joe Biden has shifted his, his focus on trying to buy votes again through student loan debt relief. In fact, Biden is already on the campaign trail preaching how he was able to get around the Supreme Court's decision and still deliver on forgiving some students of some of their debt. This guy's literally bragging about breaking the law of the Supreme Court. And yet, aren't they using the Supreme Court to try to remove his top political enemy, Donald Trump? I mean, these guys will stop at nothing. It's absolute insanity to me. All right, now, I want to hear from you in the comments. What do you think about tonight's update? Now, before you go, please, if you can, go support Mr. 1920 Soap. This stuff, it smells so good. I mean, look at this. Look at this huge, chunky bar of soap. Look how thick that is, about an inch thick. This is bourbon barrel. Oh, no, that's not bourbon barrel. This is bourbon barrel. <laughs> this is bourbon barrel, and uh, it smells so good. It's a big, chunky bar of soap that lasts for a long time. This is another one of my favorites, black soap. It's it's like the best smelling clean thing you've ever smelled. It's really good. Now, uh, I believe in this company uh, to the point where I went ahead and became a partial owner in that company because they supported me. So let's go support them. It really is the very best soap. Now, let me say hi to you guys. Hey, everybody. Uh, Abel, Lula, Guitari, Jay, Ryan, Glenn, Wilson, Sherpa, Corey. Hi, everybody. Thanks for being with me tonight. I'm on early uh, because I actually have to go to a four-hour dinner. I'm in a mastermind group where I get together with business owners on how to uh, run a better business, how to make more money, how to become a better person. Um, it's, it's something that I do every single month. Uh, and I love the community. So hopefully you guys have community and, and people that you like to spend time with. Oh my gosh, Trump, 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 Trump. Wait a minute, let, let me know in the comments. Are there any Trump fans in the audience? <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for coming on. Biden is a thief. Trump, 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 MAGA, Trump, Trump, Trump fan in here. Oh, wow, wow, okay, wow. I didn't know there were so many Donald Trump fans in the audience. I, I just tried to tell the truth about Donald Trump. You guys notice that? I don't I don't come on and bash him. I don't say that he's the best thing since sliced bread or that he is, you know, Hitler's child, like the Democrats and the mainstream media pushing all that crap down our throats. Well, I'm not buying your crap. <laughs> oh my gosh. Your show is Trump-tastic. Oh, <laughs> you guys turned that into an adverb. Good for you. All right. I, I really do have to run uh, or else I'm going to be late, but I love all of you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Please give this video a like. You guys shared my videos 450,000 times last month. I just want to say thank you so much. Every day, I thank God for every view and every viewer. I would not be able to do this if it wasn't for amazing people like you. So stay amazing. Be amazing. You are amazing. I love you so much. Have a great rest of your evening.